Hello, my name is a rotten kumquat and welcome back to heretic Today, um, I'm planning to complete episode 3 the dome of despair Picking off where I uh, picking up where I left off before this will be e3 m6 the halls of fear Here we go Okay, yeah, I recognize this level But for some reason I thought this was like an episode 4 or episode 5 level so Clearly some things are mixed up in my memory. Okay, got a ton of gargoyles here. Kind of looks like they're all melee only. No one is throwing fireballs at me. Well, except that one. Got a pile of golems over here. Nitro go- oh! Finger was on the wrong key. I was doing a little project in Doom Builder earlier, and Doom Builder uses ESDF instead of WASD. And so my muscle memory was a little screwed up there. Okay, I'm gonna try to rocket all these golems. Or rocket myself. That, that works too. Okay. I think we can finally move on from the beginning area. And the other thing I remember about this level is a Molitor down in the water on cooperative multiplayer. So I don't know if that's going to be the case here or not, but that's what I remember. Okay, is this a yellow key door? I'm already not sure where to go. Oh, I guess I got to jump down. Okay, pick up some goodies. Quartz flask. I'm going to go ahead and queue that up so that's ready. I think that's all the goodies out here. Got a couple saber claws in here. No big deal. Just blow them away with the hell staff. This looks like a trap. Yep, that is a trap. Okay. Retreat. Switch to rockets. No big deal. Okay, so we picked up a yellow key. I assume this teleporter is going to bring me back up here. Yep. That is a lot of uh, were dragons. Okay. I think this calls for a tome of power. I'm going to use. The Dragon Claw, because of how it, uh, sorry, it is hard for me to play games and talk at the same time sometimes. It does a lot of damage to other targets because every time you hit something, it explodes into these mace ball things. Oh, I just heard a Molitor. Not sure why this is a secret area, but okay. I guess I'll take it. That looks like a secret, but it's not. Do these open? Signs point to no. Okay. Well, that's a lot of gargoyles. thing I just noticed that Heretic is kind of lacking in compared to Doom. Doom gives you good feedback when you take damage because uh, you got the face down in the bottom that turns towards the direction you know you're getting attacked from and I think your screen flash is red too. Heretic doesn't do that so you got a bit of a sound effect to let you know you took damage but it's easy to miss if you're busy. I don't know what this switch does. Especially if you're half deaf like me, like you get a lot of sound sources going on and I just have trouble hearing them all, so that little pain sound gets lost in the mix for me. Okay. Yep, there's the Molitor. 
outside the green key door. Starting to wonder if I should have kept my tome of power. Okay, a bunch of ophidians. So I took some hits in there, but I didn't really notice. Oh, we got a secret wall thing here. Let's fire some rockets down there until we could hear. Oh, okay. We can just go around. There we go. One left. Got a floating flame orb here. That's a little odd. What does this do? Okay, blue key door. There's a green key door. Maybe that switch opened this, whatever this is. I assume something along the lines is going to drop the green key. And that was a correct assumption. Okay, I'm going to stop and pick up one of these health vials, make sure I'm full. Actually, I need some armor too. There's an armor shield back here. Get back up to 100. Because it looks like we're going to have to fight a Molitor next. I heard some infighting. First thing I do before I go out there, I want to see where this goes. Okay, that just goes back to the beginning. But this uh, ledge lowered. So I could totally skip the Molitor for the moment if I wanted to. Let me uh, try that jump again. That was kind of bad. That was better. Okay, got Undead Warrior and a whole bunch of golems. Well, that first shield I picked up was a waste because there's a 200 armor shield right here. We could have saved the 100 for later. Oh well. What just, okay, got some disciples. Well, now my screen's flashing when I take damage. It must depend on how much damage you take. <coughs> okay. Got Ophidians. I'm gonna go ahead and snipe him. And he ran away, so maybe I won't. Random heretic fact while I'm continuing, since I just killed those Disciples of Despairal. Um, I did a YouTube short, just because I'd never done one before. And I always wondered what the Disciples of Despairal were saying. Now, I knew it was something that was backtracked, and if you played it in reverse, they said something. So I put a little video together to show it. Go check that out. If I remember, I'll put the card on the screen now. It's pretty short. It's like a minute long. Anyway, what they're actually saying is destroy the heretic and succumb to us, heretic. Played in reverse, obviously. I'm hoping for another tome of power up here before I have to go take on uh, Mr. Molitor. Okay, so that was that thing I thought was a secret. It opens from the other side. See if anything happened over here. Nope. Well, I could pick up some arrows. Still don't know what this switch does. Oh, there's my Tome of Power. Perfect. Ask and you shall receive. Okay, now I'm thinking on this. I'm going to keep it simple. I've got a ring and a Tome of Power. I'm just going to pair those up. Come on, there we go. And flamethrower them. Oh, that was interesting. He knocked me up on that ledge. 
So this is a super effective use of ammo, if you didn't know about it, because I'm just holding down the trigger, and if you notice, my ammo is not going down, so... Now it expired, and I gotta refire, but... Your flame or last or the Phoenix Rod, whatever you call it, lasts forever when it's powered up. Extremely efficient use of ammo. Okay. Check out the goodies. Got a switch over here. How many monsters we got? 105, so we got, what, 20 left? Okay, this is open now. Pick up a map. There's the exit door. There's a undead warriors. I'm gonna dodge the hatchets. I think there was one more. Maybe not. Once again, it's giving me a ton of fire mace ammo, and I just keep forgetting I even own that weapon. Okay, here, iron lich. Um, multiples, okay. Three of them? Yep, we got three. I'm gonna go back to the green key door and uh, snipe them from there. Got four uh, Mystic Urns. It's not something I tend to use much. Cue one of those up, just in case. Okay, speaking of the Fire Mace. Which is apparently based on the beta BFG from Doom. It's not the BFG you all know and love, but one that came from like a press release, early access version. Oh, Toma Power. That could be helpful against those Iron Liches out there. Okay, there was a... They tagged that secret weird. I was all the way in it before it activated. <coughs> okay. Oh, okay. That's uh, not really what I wanted. Okay. Toma power. And how about the dragon claw? That seems like a good combination here. Oh, stupid tornadoes. How did he get up here? Is that allowed? I feel like he did something he wasn't supposed to. Switch away from the Dragon Claw, because the secondary impacts are not doing any good here. But as soon as I jump down, this is where it's good, because we got a crowd. So as we're shooting the one, we should be doing damage to the other. Until we run out of ammo. i got to circle strafe here and try to dodge the tornado. Okay, lost the power up, so those guys are down. Wings of Wrath. Okay. Four more enemies. I'll go ahead and strafe jump over here. I thought that would be a secret or something, but it wasn't. I'm not sure what that platform's about. that oh. still one more secret so I see this and I wonder if something happens if I jump on it nope okay then let's go check out the blue key door
have four enemies and one secret left. I was expecting an Iron Lich back there. Still one secret and two enemies, so what have I missed? I did pick up a map, so let me make sure I'm safe and take a look at that. I don't see any unexplored areas. Well, except for this. There we go. And there's the last enemies. Okay, that's everything. Time to move on to map seven. The Halls of Fear. Next map is the Chasm. Presumably not the Chasm from Doom 2. Yeah, not the Chasm from Doom 2. That's the map that has all the thin little ledges over the toxic waste. One of those gimmick maps that Sandy Peterson came up with and uh, everyone likes to talk crap about. Anyway, that's not this game, so why am I even talking about it? This room's clear. Looks like I can reach through the, the grate here to pick some stuff up. Except for that one. How many enemies we got? 117 total. 10 secrets. Okay, gotta watch out those disciples. They can't... well, that one hit me, but... Most of them are having trouble shooting through the window. Here, Iron Lich, and got some Saber Claws. No real chance we're in fighting out there. Okay, that looks like a secret, but it's not. Okay, that was it. Just a trap. I might go ahead and do something about those iron liches. I don't like those in there. And my auto aim is prioritizing the saber claws. That hurts. like one more. Try not to rocket myself on this pillar here. Okay, that outside area is clear. Got Nothing left here except to go through this door. I have no armor, so I'm gonna start being careful. Another thing this is missing compared to Doom, there's no armor bonuses. You've got the 100 armor pickup and the 200 armor pickup, but not the little random one armor pickups they like to put everywhere. Oh, hello. I think there was one more. Yep. I 
Do those open when I hit that? Okay, we got a couple. Got a teleporter there. That could have been a lot worse. This is a weird chain of secrets. That was really weird. Got teleported in before that was open. Okay. I'm not going to worry about those saber claws for now. There's nothing else out there, so... Oh, there's some armor. They aren't really hurting anything at the moment. Okay, we got a staircase up to... Well, we can't even climb it. <coughs> Total my power. Nice drop. I'm guessing that... Okay, it gives us undead warriors. It's going to rocket them. Did that? It did. So this step lowered, and now we can come up here and grab the yellow key. And I'm going to continue on this way briefly. Tiny secret. Oh man, Tomes of Power. Two. What I'm thinking is a powered up fire mace on all these saber claws out here, because why not? Should one shot them, if it hits them. Because the downside is that if I miss, those splash in the water and go away. Normally they bounce around, and they'll even track enemies slightly. So they aren't great in the water, but need a blue key. This is a good spot to use it. Except for getting trapped. Oh, Molitor. Failing at sniping that Ophidian. I'm intentionally using the Hell Staff because I knew I was full on ammo and there was all this ammo on the floor here, so why not? Now, what have I accomplished here? Something open back up in here. Doesn't really look like it. I must have missed something. I came in here and I hit a switch. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, that's what I missed. And there's the Molitor. Okay. 18 flame orbs. Should be enough. If I could hit him, that is. Oh, just got to dodge that attack because that is an instant death if it hits you. Oh, that was close. Got to be close here. There we go. Molitor down. A restock on Hellstaff ammo.
Okay. Let's find out what this teleporter does. Takes us to a switch. Not sure where he came from. I better go back up there and check. Oh, where's a monster closet here? No, I think let's just let me jump over here. It's not tagged as a secret though. It's kind of a weak monster closet. You just put one gargoyle in there. Okay, yeah, I can pick that up. Full on health staff again. Wasn't really what I expected. Oh, I have no, no rockets. Or whatever they're called. Sometimes I forget the heretic names and I call things by their doom names instead, so. You might hear me call the hell staff a plasma gun. Okay, green key. Got a misaligned texture here because that's a secret full of were dragons. Okay, green key, green key doors right here. That's a lot of gargoyles. Saber claw, it's kind of hard to see because he blends in with the surroundings here. So some kind of sandy cave or something. Oh, you know what I just realized? Sorry about that. I have the game muted in OBS. Okay. So you've been listening to me chatter, but you haven't been able to hear the game this whole time. This is a bit of a mazy area. section is dark for no reason apparently okay that water maze almost completely explored looks like I missed one section here that might be something in the middle other side of this. Wait. There. Oh, that was rude. Okay, I recognize this, but for some reason I thought this was in Hexen, not Heretic. <coughs> okay, Iron Lich, Iron Lich, Ophidians. Potentially get some infighting going on in here, if they would line up correctly. I don't know if they have space to do what I'm wanting them to do. Unless I just run it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I forgot about the wind.
Oh, come on. The Ophidian was behind the Iron Lich. Oh, he dodged right into that. I deserve that. There we go. Now we got some infighting going on. I'm just going to watch the show. Okay, one Ophidian down. Come on, you're lined up. Oh, not anymore. Okay, enough messing around. What? Why was that moving so slow? Oh, I did not even see that. Quite a supply of quartz flasks, though. Okay, that cage is clear. Still got ones over there. Right, check the map. Get a feel for this area. So I just gotta run across the bridge. I guess this is the chasm. Okay, so the wind is blowing that way, so if I strafe run... Yep. And we get Wings of Wrath, so that'll allow us to explore out here a bit. Most annoying sound in the game is the dragon claw. Oh, that was the iron lich that died already. Okay. Let's go ahead and activate Wings of Wrath. See what's out here. Another Wings of Wrath. Okay. Ring of Invincibility. That's a nice little cache of power ups. Apparently only the bridge has wind on it. When I'm out here over the, the toxic waste, there's nothing. Okay, let's get going over here before my wings expire. And another Wings of Wrath, nice. Okay. Can I make it to the teleporter before that expires? Oh. That wasn't too bad. That gave me the blue key. Another Mystic Urn. Knock on wood, but I have a ton of health and I have not died yet. Oh, there's a map. Oh, all enemies are dead. We got three secrets left, so. Let's see what we can finish off before we go take on Disparal. Well, the only thing I see is the blue key door. That's where the exit is. Oh, there is something in this spiral thing. Okay. Phoenix Rod. Still have two secrets somewhere. I don't see what, though. Nothing obvious. Oh, there is something. Okay. 
Well, oh, there we go. There's a secret there. And then that is potentially something I didn't step into. So that is all in the water room. Right here. Okay, that's open. Got a chaos device. And this is open. It's all the power. That's all secrets. Now if I can remember how to exit this maze, looks like this way. Got all these power-ups I can't take with me. What a waste, because uh, they'd be useful in the next map. There's some close quarters Iron Lich combat going on, if I recall correctly. <coughs> Make sure I'm full on ammo. Okay, I think that's good enough. On to Despairal himself. Chasm, Despairal's Keep, final level of this episode. Okay, got a bunch of birds to kill. Just blast him with the crossbow and keep moving. And where'd he go? Okay. Wings of Wrath, you have to use it here to get out of this pit. Kinda lame, but that's what they do to you. Now... Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, that's, I was expecting an Iron Lich. Maybe that's the next chamber. So no, these just do. Oh, okay. It has been a long time since I played this level. Like I kind of remember it in broad terms, but the Ophidians. got enough room to circle strafe. So I think this is where the Iron Lich is. Yep. Let's see if I can fire mace him. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. One monster left. What could it be? Let's see, am I trapped in here? No, back to here. Pick up some armor. Um, this might be a secret. Yep. Ooh, Tomo Power, Chaos Device. This is not even on the map. Okay, which one haven't I taken? Wait, what? No, oh, I just gotta go straight. Okay, so the northeast one. Here we go! Taking on the big guy himself. I'm gonna grab this chaos device. Definitely want this armor. Or was that a Tome of Power? Anyway, here's a good look at him. This is Despairal. This is the evil being that has conquered this land and killed all the Sidhi Elves. Except for me, of course. Uh, there's three Serpent Riders in the Her Heretic and Hexen lore. This is the first one, Despairal. You meet Korax in Hexen and then Eidolon in Hexen 2. Funny enough, Despairal is the only Serpent Rider who actually rides a serpent. I don't know why that is. Also, if you've played Hexen, you surely know this, but these serpents he's riding, those are uh, normal enemies in Hexen. You run into them all the time. Okay, let's fire up a Tome of Power. We've got three of them. Eh, you just circle strafe, stay close. He has two forms, so you end up killing the serpent first. 
Like that. We're over here, pick some goodies up. The Sparrow, of course, survives. He gets up and comes back for more. <coughs> he will also spawn Disciples of Disparrow. Just like that. Oh, where did he go? Okay, his pathfinding got him caught in there. Oh. That was rude. So I'm gonna fire mace him. He's a pretty easy boss. His attacks are easy to dodge. Biggest challenge are just clearing out the disciples he likes to spawn, which apparently I can't even hit. Oh, I guess I got one more Toma Power. And unfortunately, you can't chicken him. Well, he dodged, so I can't even show that off. But the uh, Morph of them does not work on certain boss creatures. So the Sparrow, Iron Lich, Molitor, they're immune to it. And he's down. Turns into a pile of bones. Okay, there's two secrets somewhere. I think these are just teleport targets. I don't think they go anywhere. Oh, there's a Wings of Wrath hiding in the corner over here. Okay, there's one secret. That would have been nice. Actually, I, I didn't even really take any hits, so it wouldn't have been that useful. But Ring of, uh, Ring of Invincibility up there. And other side has a Mystic Urn. Okay. And takes you back to the beginning for some reason. Well. well that's it. And this is the exit. Despairal is defeated. The death of Despairal has loosed the magical bonds holding his creatures on this plane, their dying screams overwhelming his own cries of agony. Your oath of vengeance fulfilled, you enter the portal to your own world, mere moments before the dome shatters into a million pieces. But if Despairal's power is broken forever, why don't you feel safe? Was that last shout just before his death the one that sounded like a curse? Or a summoning? You can't really be sure, but it might have just been a scream. Then again, what about the other Serpent Riders? <coughs> There's a look at uh, the player, City Elf. Heretic 2 identifies him as Corvus. And that ugly looking red dude is Korax. He's the final enemy of Hexen, the next game in the series. Normally this would conclude the original version of Heretic, but this is Shadows of the Serpent Riders, which has two extra episodes. So this was episode three, there's still two more episodes. So I'm sure I'll come back and play them at some point. But until then, that concludes my 
playthrough of the Dome of Despair on Thou Art a Smite Meister. My name is a Rotten Kumquat, and thanks for watching.